What's going on everyone? Hey, I'm standing here with a patient. This is Blake. And notice he has his shirt off right now. This is to get more ladies tuning in. So all <laughs> ladies will tune in here in a second. No, really, so Blake is our last patient of the day today. He just finished a condensed a condensed care plan because you're going back to school. Going back to school, yeah. And, and so you went eight weeks. Eight weeks, eight week program. Eight weeks, twice a week. Twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays, and then home care every day. And so his home care was dialed in, and this is something I always like to touch on with other chiropractors out there that say people don't follow home care, they don't do it, uh, it doesn't work, or they might do it for like 10 minutes or that's it. How long was your home care process from start to finish? Hour, hour, 10 minutes. Okay, and, daily. That, was, and that was every day you did it? Every day, yeah. With, without fail. Mm. Why did you do it? Well, I'm, I mean, I, I was coming in twice a week to do the program and I wanted to see results, so I figured the only way I could do that was by doing the home care. And so Blake is an interesting dude. As you can tell, he's obviously athletic, so he exercises, works out. His family is also very into health and wellness, the whole family is patients. Uh, and Blake's going back to school, so he had a limited amount of time. And I remember even in the beginning, do you remember in the beginning you said, does it even make sense for me to do this? Because I'll yeah. have eight weeks. Right? Yeah, exactly, right. yeah. And so early on what we do, and for, first off, I'll just show you Blake's x-rays when we started, just to put it in perspective. So this is a, a full, spine, full spine lateral. And this is an interesting case because Blake did not really have a whole lot of symptoms, you know, little aches here and there, but he didn't come in saying, hey, I'm dying, I have tons of pain. But the main thing, he's got an 80 degree thoracic hyperkyphosis. Remember when you learned about that? Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> not and, good at and, all. And originally when you found out about that, you said, wait, that's... Is that me on the x-ray? Yeah, right, no right. Idea. Which, it's surprising, because if you look at Blake, you wouldn't really notice it. it. His body hides it quite well, that he had that thoracic hyperkyphosis, so much curve in there. And the problem is, especially this transition of how harsh that goes into the neck, measures at a 49 degree neck curve, which is a gain over normal. Too much curve is bad. Too much curve here is bad. This transition point is bad. So even if he wasn't super symptomatic right now, he pretty much would be in the future if he kept waiting. So then what we did is we said, okay, let's set some goals as far as seeing how much we can reduce this 80 degree curve through a combination of adjusting postural corrective exercise, functional movement and traction and home care. How do we reduce this? How do we keep this upright? How do we get a more functional overall? And so we went through that process. We went through a goal sheet. And this is what we do on our day five. So we went through goals and we wrote out the goals. Decrease thoracic curve to 65 degrees. That was our goal, is to reduce it to 65 degrees. And then blue belt by week eight. So you just got your blue belt today. Blue belt. Okay, awesome. So that is goal number one. And then goal number two is to reduce the thoracic curve to 65 degrees. Let's see how we did with that. So I'll put this down for a second. And okay, so this is the first one, first x-ray. So 80 degree curve. And then this is our second x-ray, ready, drum roll. Dun, dun, dun. And 59 degree curve. So awesome, massive change. So again, if you see this, this is, this is a really, really impressive change, but the reason that this changed is because is because Blake took this seriously. He really did. Like in traction, are you pushing pretty hard in traction? Really hard, yeah. Okay. Like to the point where you're saying I cannot tolerate it. Yeah, no more. <laughs> okay. That's that's usually what it takes to make a I mean a twenty one degree change in thoracic curve in eight weeks. Mm -hmm. Normally a, a a care plan is twelve weeks because that's for the normal, you know, mere mortal that that's how long it takes to make the changes but we took a third of that off you pushed probably as hard as you could possibly push mm -hmm. and you've remodeled the shape of your spine you've changed it considerably which is awesome movement wise you know you're up to a blue belt so we have a whole belt system as far as how we organize how well someone ascends through movement there's a wellness score that we go through and i'll show you this real quick so we start off here and initially it was a D and you can see all the parameters that we measure. Some of them are measurements off x-ray, some of them are postural measurements and so on. And then the follow-up that we, 64%, okay, went up to 84%. So went from a D to a B. Awesome. Good job.
anyway, just wanted to cover that. Blake did awesome. And um, I think, and then how, how soon until you're leaving for school? Next week. Okay. So because you're so exceptional, and I know we did this for your dad too, mm. we should probably give you a kettlebell. I'll take it, yeah. Okay. Okay, so what size kettlebell do you want? Uh, we'll have to look at what size you got. I mean, we have we have a pink one that's 17 pounds. Maybe not that one. Which is 8 kilograms. Maybe it's closer to 40. All the way up to 20 kilograms or 24 kilograms. So, like, either either a 20 or 24. A 20 is good for a lot of stuff, so mm -hmm. that's probably a good one to get. Okay, yeah. Cool. Then. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to gift Blake a a 20 kilogram kettlebell because he earned it. So what do you think? Do you think he earned it? Comment below. Let us know. All right. Over and out.